is our first pay-per-view in front of fans since WrestleMania and before that Elimination Chamber of 2020. And what a way to kick off the fans returning them money in the bank. Two money in the bank matches, a couple title matches, and maybe a surprise entrant in that money in the bank match. All that and more as we predict Money in the Bank 2021. Welcome to a brand new episode of Keep Talk Wrestling on the No Holes Bar Network. And we are predicting. this recording which is Thursday night at 8 50 p.m. there are six matches announced obviously because this is WWE there will be more announced as we get closer because that's just what WWE does so we are going to start with Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair so this feud has been going on for a really long time and I'm thinking that Rhea Ripley takes the win here I think she deserves that title run in front of fans that she deserves it I don't think Charlotte needs the title right now. Um, I can see them doing a double turn where Rhea turns heel and Charlotte turns face. But I'm really hoping that this does become clean. I actually hope that at some time Sunday before that this does turn into a no DQ match. Just to go based off what happened at WrestleMania Backlash that this match actually did end in a DQ. So I'm going Rhea Ripley. I don't know what's projected for SummerSlam because I think the man is going to stay on the blue bl on the blue brand with her man. So I don't know. Maybe a ca I don't want to say a cash in just because what I think is going to happen for the, ma for the main event. But I'm hoping that some fresh new faces show up on Raw like we've seen on SmackDown. I know Aaliyah has been rumored that she's making the jump because Mandy Rose is going back down. Dana Brooke. I don't know. But my prediction is Rhea Ripley, the title retains. Next is for the Tag Team Championships. We have AJ and Omos taking on the Viking Raiders. Now this match was actually supposed to take place next Monday night, so I'm intrigued as to why they moved it to the pay-per-view. Um, I don't mind. I figured that this match was going to be on the pay-per-view and it gives the pay-per-view more matches. I'm going also with the retain here that AJ and Omos do hold on to the tag titles. I think right now on both the Raw and SmackDown brand that the tag team division is very much lacking and they really don't have enough tag teams so I don't see the Viking Raiders winning just because I I just don't see AJ and Omos losing a, to like a tag team like that I see them losing to a much bigger tag team and that's no offense to the Viking Raiders I just think just because of how WWE's used them in the past couple months that they're not really projected in that way so I'm gonna go with AJ and Omos I don't know what the plan really is for what's next i would say rk bro but as we dissect the money in the bank match you'll see why i don't think that's happening but aj nomas still your tag team champions so next we're going to go to bobby lashley and kofi kingston that will go to both money in the bank matches so i'm really excited for this match i think that bobby and kofi have a lot in this story i think for personal reasons because they're good friends in real life that they're really gonna blow out all the stops and remember um Back when Kofi Mania was a thing in 2019, Bobby Lashley, no, well, MVP and Chuck Gaspar watched Kofi Kingston win the title in a bar in New York. So, you know, little field moment. Um, I'm totally going with Bobby Lashley here. I think there's a reason that they're keeping the title on Lashley. Now, earlier today, I know that the speculation has been that it's going to be Goldberg at SummerSlam, which really breaks my heart. But I kind of do understand because Canada, they're not allowed to travel to the U.S. yet. Um, I know that from Kyle because Kyle actually told me this that he can't fly to the States But he can fly to France. So I think it's a COVID thing because Brock is up in Canada. That's where he is rocking his man bun or Ponytail whatever you want to call it But I also do think that they are splitting up MVP and Bobby Lashley I 100% believe that there's a reason they did this on Monday and I think it sucks because the Hurt Business and MVP being put with Lashley was literally like the MVPs of the Thunderdome era. So I don't understand why they're going to do it. But I think that MVP is either going to is gonna turn on Bobby and either manage um, Xavier Woods or Kofi Kingston. Not saying that they might. I, I think they might break up. I'm not 100% with that theory. But I do think that MVP is going to turn 
towards the new day and I think that the reason is going to be you know Bobby maybe like MVP just doesn't like the respect of Bobby or like Bobby just thinks like oh well, I don't need you anymore like look at me I'm the champ I can do what I want so I think that's going to happen I think there's a reason they teased it on Monday but and new I'm actually crowning no well yes my man and my crown's a new champion <laughs> But let's start off with the women's money in the bank match. So, we have Natalia, we have Liv Morgan, we have Alexa Bliss, we have Nikki Cross slash Ash, we have Asuka, we have Naomi, we have Zelina Vega and a TBD which was announced to be Tamina Snuka. Now, I don't think it is going to remain to be Tamina Snuka, I think it may be Sasha Banks. Or the man, I know the man, I know today on BW Insider, a good thing I filmed today because a lot of things got like confirmed today. Today on BW Insider, it was announced that Becky Lynch is confirmed to be at Money in the Bank. We don't know what she's doing. Maybe she's just watching Seth in the back. In the back. Maybe she's going to be in the match. I don't know. But I don't think it's going to be Tamina. I think that there's no hype to that. And I feel like there's so many other speculations who it could be. Like Sasha Banks is technically announced for tomorrow's show. They announced it back when tickets went on sale. So I could see something of that sort. I could see Sonya Deville entering herself in the match. That's been rumored as well. So I don't know, I just don't really see it being Tamina. I think that's kind of a letdown. Nothing against Tamina. I just feel like we've hyped it up so much and it's like, oh, the tag champs are in the match. Of course the tag champs are in the match. But for my winner, I'm going with Liv Morgan. I think the storyline makes so much sense for it to be Liv, you know, just getting screwed over by the authority, getting so many victories, and now, like, just seeing her hold that briefcase and just proving Sonya Deville, like, look, I did it, and you weren't even gonna put me in the match. I think that would just be such a statement maker, and I think Liv could do so much with that briefcase, and I do see a successful cash in down the line, and I think, you know, there's a reason that Vince did not let go Liv Morgan. He sees something in her. So I 100% believe Liv Morgan is going to be your Miss Money in the Bank. Now the men's. Um, so we'll dissect the men's a little bit. So obviously, Seth Rollins, um, Big E, Kevin Owens, Shinsuke Nakamura, or King Nakamura, Ricochet, Drew McIntyre, John Morrison, and Riddle. And the reason I'm looking down is because I wrote all the participants on, the, like, on a notebook on the floor. So that's why I'm looking down. So my thing with RK Bro is if you go back to, I believe it was 2013, Money in the Bank, where Punk was in it, and Punk was climbing the ladder, and then Heyman screwed Punk, and he slammed the ladder into Punk, and that set up Punk versus Brock in LA. I think that's going to happen with this match. And there's a reason we haven't seen Orton on TV in a couple weeks, and that's because he's gonna screw Riddle over because he's so upset that he wasn't in this Money in the Bank match. So I totally see a scenario where Riddle's climbing the briefcase and he comes at, and Orton comes out of nowhere and just screws Riddle over, which is why I don't think RK Raid RK no not Raid RK bro that would <laughs> what a what a six man tag team what a triple tag team that would be. <laughs> I think um, Raid RK bro is going to split up and not challenge AJ almost because I think Orton's gonna screw Riddle over. Um, I don't want Drew to win because I feel like that'd be so stupid because we've seen this man in the title picture. You know, he is like past the title. He's in a feud with Jinder Mahal. Uh, if the Riddle Orton thing doesn't happen, I can see Mahal actually screwing McIntyre as well. But I do not see Drew winning. If Drew wins, I'm going to be really angry. We didn't need to get him out of the title picture. He needs a break. He needs to get off TV. Like, no Drew. I don't have a chill pill. You know, he's worked really hard. Again, another MVP of the Thunder Mara. Uh, who else was I going to pick a note of? Oh, that's really it. Oh, and then my winner. I'm picking Rollins. <laughs> so I know, like, I got yelled at this on another podcast. I'm picking with my heart. I'm biased. No. I think Rollins is going to win because Rollins is going to screw over Edge in the main event. I think it makes sense for Rollins to win. I think that out of everybody in this match, like, you could obviously pick out a Big E or a Kevin Owens. But I feel like, I feel like when you look at it, I feel like Rollins is the underdog that you just don't, you're going to count Rollins out right away. And I think that's why they want Rollins to win. Because I feel like going in, oh, Big E's going to win. Or, oh, Kevin Owens is going to win. Because if you look on the Raw side, Riddle's really the only person that, like, somewhat makes sense to win. But I don't see him, I don't see them doing that. So, I'm picking Rollins, and that goes into my main event. Because if you've watched the last couple Money in the Bank pay-per-views that have been live, last year doesn't count because it was in WWE headquarters, um, there has been same night cash-ins, you know, from Dean Ambrose, Greg Rollins, Bailey, and I think it continues. And I think, you know, going based off Rollins' Money in the Bank history, 
We've seen him cash in on a certain someone before and make being invented to a triple threat. And I think Rollins is going to cash in to end the show and pin Edge and become champion. And I know that's a really outlandish theory, but I think that makes the most sense. Edge called him out on the bump on Wednesday. So I'm going with Rollins, and that's my prediction for the main event. Rollins is walking out your new Universal Champion. But if that does not happen, and it's not Rollins, I'm picking Kevin Owens. <laughs> but my my realistic thing is Rollins. Like I just I just think it makes sense. Like I think there's a reason they put Rollins in this match and not Cesaro. And I think it's because I want Rollins to win. But if I'm wrong, I'm picking Kevin Owens because I think Kevin Owens could do a lot with the money in the bank. I feel like he's not doing really anything right now, and he needs something. And I think he needs this money in the bank match. And I'm not saying for him to cash on Reigns. He could easily go to Raw. Him and Lashley. Him if they don't split up MVP and Lashley. Him and MVP could do some great stuff on the mic. Lashley as well. So I could see that too. So if the Rollins thing doesn't work out, Kevin Owens for the win. But like I said, so that's all the matches. There's only been six matches announced as of now. Now I know eight <laughs> on Thursday night. So obviously I see a couple more matches being announced. I don't know what the match is going to be. But yeah. And um, the one thing I will say is I know that I haven't written really post this week. Um, my actual job. So I'm in Camp Calvin in the summer. So that's been really crazy and hectic. And I've been going through a couple personal mental issues myself. I've actually had like a couple panic attacks the last two days. And so I've like, tried to rest and like get my mind straight. Um, but I'm, I'm calm now, and the reason I'm filming this, I'm calm, I made myself calm, and, um, I think regular recording's gonna resume, so don't worry about that. We'll be back. I've been running, normally. But that's it for me. Um, Saturday you'll have my SmackDown review, and then Monday you'll have my Money in the Bank review. Skylar's actually coming to my house to watch the review, so we won't be on Zoom, we'll actually be in person. And hopefully, I'll be champion, and I'll be smiling, and I'll cure all the anxiety in my head. But make sure to like this video, comment your guys' Money in the Bank predictions. Um, make sure to subscribe, click that bell for notifications. If you did not watch last night's AEP, make sure to check that out, because it was a really good episode. And also, if you're not doing anything this weekend, so tonight, there's a virtual signing on Facebook at East Coast Autograph Auctions with Chelsea Green, who appeared on Women Division Wednesdays on Sunday at uh, Best in the World. And then tomorrow at 5, Velvet Sky. So if you want to do something for a anniversary, chill with us. And I think that's it. Oh, also on thepopbreak.com, I wrote a really good article about Women Division Wednesday. Check that out. That's it for me.